Hello guys, Pastor Preston is my name. So today I want to encourage a couple of people who may want to give up from their mistakes or who may want to see that their world has crashed because they made one mistake. Listen, everybody makes mistake. Anybody who you see that say he has never made a mistake is a liar. Right, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, so as long as the mistake did not kill you, then he has given you an opportunity to learn. Okay, I remember someone said something very profound. It says, mistakes are school fees that we pay to learn. Yeah, and I think I quite agree, right? As a matter of fact, there are people who may be able to trust other people not to make mistakes, but there are other people who, maybe because of their constructs, yeah, they need to make such one or two mistakes for them to learn. Every great invention that you find today in the world, right? The people who invented it tried severally and they failed. So never you give up when you make mistakes. Just learn from it. Learn that this is how it doesn't work and then it's possible to work. And when you make your own mistakes in life, never you, you know, um, begin to suck to feel like, oh, my life is finished and all that. No, just have hopes, right? Um, you know, learn from it. If it's something you've done wrong, apologize to God or apologize to whoever is involved and just move on. Listen, and you say, well, I'm ashamed. How will they look at me? Oh, you see, they, they're going to tag me like this and all that stuff. Those same people have something that they have done wrong. Take a leaf from the story of the woman caught in the very act, okay? All of the same, very righteous until Jesus said, if you have not done any wrong, be the first to cast the stone. You saw that they were all guilty like the same very woman, okay? So never you allow the devil to use guilt to hold you down. Just let it move past you, right? Once you fall, move forward, okay? Be quick to move forward, right? Learn your lesson and just move on. He says, seven times a righteous man will fall, he will rise again. So never allow your mistakes to hold you down. Let me tell you this, and I want to say this. Every time your mistakes hold you down for too long, it shows that you are emotional. It shows that you are a person of hardened heart, right? That's why you can forgive yourself easily. And that also shows you will also not be able to forgive other people easily. Even John will say, if I heard condemn us, he says, God is greater than our heart. Okay. Once you do something wrong and you apologize for them, right? Just move on with the lessons and then trust God to help you other times remember in hebrews it says let us come to the throne of grace okay with boldness it says let's come to the throne of grace with boldness and obtain mercy and grace in times of need that's fantastic it says come to the throne of grace with boldness so we always come to the throne of grace with boldness we are not of those who begin to wallow in our wrong and then just think that our life is gone now think about it how can you expect perfection from imperfect people people who are not constructed to be perfect Think about that. How can you expect it? It doesn't work, okay? Right? So it's there's bound to be one or two wrongs here and there. However, right, we must be cautious. If we listen to the Spirit of God, we will not make mistakes. However, if we ever make mistake, right, you must be quick to get up from it, right? I like the way the scripture says it. It says, God, we blot out our iniquities. Blot out means he will wipe it out completely, never to remember it again. So why are you remembering it? Stop thinking about your wrong. Rather think about you're right think about what's ahead of you think about how much you can accomplish with your life that's the truth even when you suffer consequences from your wrong see them as lessons to learn and look forward glory to god hallelujah it's something that i want you to know right to so be strengthened today let nothing hold you back let nothing stop you back let nothing make you feel that your great dreams right you cannot accomplish it no matter the mistakes that you have made in your life listen it is possible god is with you if you will take the lesson and you will square up right and just be strong you will be amazed what your life will turn out to be listen all those people you find on top go and ask or go and read their biographies you'll be shocked the kind of mistakes that they have made as a matter of fact psychologists have stated that people who are too careful not to even make mistakes in life they are those who cannot amount to be very great in life he, he called those people perfectionist because they are too careful not to make mistakes they will not try new things they will not dare they will not you know push harder they'll be going very gradually and of course in that character they will not be able to do mind-blowing things hallelujah glory to god and those who want to put themselves out there you know experiment they most likely will make mistakes that they'll learn from that will avail them the opportunity to do great things so never allow mistakes 
to hold you down. Rather, let it be a learning call for you for which you can do that great things with your life that God has designed you. You are God's burst. God does not judge you. God just loves you and hold that strong to your life. Thank you for listening and God bless you.